Hello oh, there, guys. Welcome. Well, quite an, can I say, odd video. Uh, <laughs> a 10 year old game. A four. And, uh, well, we're gonna talk about how it stands up today. Oh, you know, it's quite old. The graphics are quite not as great anymore. They're not quite as epic as they used to be. I mean, they were epic even back in 2008, let's be honest. But, B4 was great. We can't deny that. I mean, my generation that played uh, GTA 4 a lot back then loves the game, and so do I. Because, you know, it was literally the best open world game back then. When you thought about open world, GTA was the only thing that came to your hat. There's no Saints Row. I mean, there was, but Saints Row. A joke, let's be honest. First Saints Row was pretty bad, so was Saints Row 2, and so on and so on. So, GTA 4 was the main thing that people used to think about when not about open world games. GTA 4 had freedom, had nice graphics. Not, nothing like, wow. For 2008 standards, but it was great. It was okay. It still is. Think about it. The textures are pretty good. You can see. Not blurry at all. Looks pretty nice. So, you know, place, I would say. Like, I don't think they know. St stuff like that. Like, big hip outs. But still. Um, it's, it's decent, you know? It's quite decent, and the game has a very, very deep storyline. Oh my god, FPS drops real. Uh, oh jeez. So that's what happens when you try to record uh, GTA 4 with a quad core. Computer cries a little bit. Uh, GPU is not being used, but CPU is up to 75%, which is high. Extremely high. It seems like you got used to it now. No. <laughs> oh my god, 91%. That's a lot. GPU. Yeah, I, I I don't have a great computer, so it's gonna be quite an effort to record a GTA, GTA 4 gameplay because you're gonna cry. Oh my god, we are up to 94% of CPU right now. Dude, it's literally using 44% just OBS. I'm not even joking. OBS using 44% of my CPU right now. Just because I'm using high quality audio, it's taking like 20% to process the audio, and then I'm using, um, uh, f uh, I don't remember, I guess it was 5 megs per second of uh, video quality. It's taking quite a bit of CPU, but still, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, it's very short. Uh, how does GTA 4 stands up in 2018 video? <laughs> It's gonna be short because you know it's eating my CPU literally we are up to 97% now but still uh, let's talk about what GTA 4 has that uh, GTA 5 lacks and that is uh, the physics which were simplified GTA 5 I, I fully understand that though because it takes a little bit of processing you know we can't deny that GTA 4 is quite a heavy game and that uh, Let's say that 60% of it, it's on uh, a Rage's fault, it's Rage's fault, Rage Engine, which is the physics engine for GTA, Euphoria, you know, that, 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 that thing, which is pretty heavy, we can deny that. Uh, I guess the biggest problem with uh, our beloved uh, GTA 4, the fact that it's way ahead of its time, like way ahead. We're talking about a 2008 game with physics that are still uh, pretty decent in 2018. Like when you run over someone, when you crash your car, the way the car damages, it's pretty, pretty good. Even for actual standards, because developers could not find a way to balance uh, graphics and physics. It's hard, yeah, it's really hard. You have to opt out. It's either graphics or you know physics so you can't have both you can try but it's gonna be heavy like let's take uh, B and G for example that car game with awesome physics 
Dude, it's heavy. If you take more than one car, it's gonna hit your CPU real hard. That's undeniable. Any 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 bin and G player will tell you that it's heavy on this on the CPU and GPU as well. Because there's a lot of calculations being made at the same time to give you that amazing, amazing visuals. I can deny it. Games the game is fantastic. I played BNNGs, it almost killed my computer, but I, dang, I loved it, dude, I loved it. It was a nice experience, it was fun while it lasted, and my <laughs> CPU cried a lot, like it's crying right now, we are talking about 93%, just cause my uh, OBS is using 40% just to record, I mean, GTA 4 uses half of it, and the OBS uses the another hot half, so yeah, it's not gonna be easy to record and play, but still. Um, I'm gonna just walk around because if I take a car, it's probably gonna ramp up to 100%. It's gonna crash most likely, so I'm just gonna walk and talk. And uh. Oh, okay. Whatever. Still. Um. Yeah, I guess the physics are most. Uh, the most amazing part of GTA. Makes it look amazing, makes it look fun, it makes it fun to play even today. Even, you know, you take uh, <laughs> the graphics into consideration, it's still fun to take a car and crash and run over people and, you know, uh, fight with the cops, which is not something that I recommend doing at home. Don't do it, don't try it at home. Don't, sh don't, don't try to kill innocent people, it's not fun. But still, in GTA 4 it is quite fun. Because the physics provide you that. Provide an extra bit of fun, which GTA 5 kind of has it, a little bit of it. Not like 100% though, because it, it's not the same thing. It's not at the same extent. They had to kind of cripple it a little bit to make it run. I guess the main uh, limiting factor of GTA 5 was the fact that it was made for PS3 and X360, which was quite of a limiting factor. Is then, uh, you know, they had to make a, or a miracle to make it run on the past gen. It was hard. It was really, really hard. Because if you consider how beautiful and big GTA 5 is, and the fact that it could run on PS3 and X360, it was a miracle. It really was. They really had to cut down a lot of things, like, uh, you know, uh, people, the NPCs. Uh, the traffic and a lot of other things just to keep a solid 3 FPS, which is not really solid 3. We all know that. We ought to play uh, GTA 5 in the best gen. We know that it wasn't 3 FPS. Not solid, but still. It was a miracle. It was a real miracle. A Christmas miracle that happened. And uh, we can't deny that it took quite a bit of hard work for them. And, uh, you know, they couldn't use... Uh, the full extent of the engine, of the Rage engine, I mean, with all the damage features and, uh, you know, defensive physics, they had to cripple it down a little bit, but still, uh, the final result was great. We can't say that GTA 5 isn't fun, it is, but it's a different kind of game, it's not as serious as GTA 4, it's not as dark. It took a fun approach, you know, it's more like a comedy game if that makes sense like uh, GTA 4 is like a drama and GTA 5 is comedy with violence and guns and bombs and whatever but still I do think that GTA 4 is way more real it's way more connected to the real world because it, it it talks about real stuff you know it tells you some uh, real shit right there like, about the fact that there's no American dream. I mean, Nico came to the United States looking for better uh, job opportunities and money. And uh, it turns out that things are not that easy, you know? It was 2008. We were talking about a very massive crisis that broke Europe, that almost broke the United States, if it were not for Obama, you know? He saved the day, but still, it was a crisis. It was big. Things were insane. And, uh... You know, you couldn't just expect to make money, dude. <laughs> in in the 2008, you know, it's not like that. It wasn't easy at all. There was no American dream in 2008. 
I mean, maybe in the 70s and the 80s, it could be possible for Nico to just make honest money there, but 2008, nah. I, I wouldn't say so. It was hard times, it was dark times, and then it all, uh, it all makes sense, you know? It all starts to make sense. Uh, the dark city, you know, the grayish patterns, the way it looks, starts to make a hell lot of sense, and there's this... Okay, it's weird. Let me take a gun and probably sort of... Oh, yeah. One more for my collection. Let me just... No, oh, free aim is not working. Nice. Come on. Okay, let me just... Okay, yeah. It's not gonna work. Have to kill that bitch. Pigeon. Okay, let me take the sniper instead. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Pigeon. You have to die. Flying rats, okay, it's a pigeon, but whatever. <laughs> it's gone now, and, and she uses sniper rifle for that. Still, there's just 199 more. Still, uh, let's go back to the point. Uh, so, yeah, I think that uh, you can still play and enjoy uh, GTA 4 in 2018. The physics, which are quite great, quite uh, actual, I would say like that. I mean, if, if you look at uh, the other open world games, you can see that the physics are nowhere as close. So, GTA 4 is far ahead when it comes to physics. Way ahead of its time. And uh, I think that GTA 4 was what? Uh, GTA 5 was meant to be as far as physics go. I think that if they uh, brought like arcade physics for GTA 4 and then uh, the same uh, GTA 4 physics but improved for GTA 5 on next gen and PC that would then be that would have been great would have been extremely great but, you know <laughs> sadly it never happened it kept the same physics for uh, the next gen and PC so it's quite sad you know it's really sad but then you have to think about the fact that, you know, the game had to be lightweight so that more people could play it, more computers could run it. And uh, we can't deny, uh, GTA 5 is very well optimized, which GTA 4 isn't at all. I mean, it's literally using half of my CPU right now. So, I mean, it's a 2008 game and it runs like crap. Even today. I mean, let's, let's imagine back in 2008, you would need a fucking monster build to run that. And, I mean, even today you can run it great. I mean, you can get solid 60, of course, but with drops here and there and random uh, crashes and freezes, all the fancy stuff they could expect from GTA, but still, that's not a point. The point is, uh, I guess that uh, it kind of went uh, too far with GTA 4 as far as physics go, I would say that uh, they beat more than they could show. That's what would define what GTA 4 is. It's not a fact that the game is bad. Uh, GTA 4 is not bad. It's a masterpiece. Uh, the Metacritic uh, score says that, you know? It's a masterpiece. It really is. It's a great game. But then again, we have to think that uh, it was quite of a disaster. Uh, for uh, computer players, for the PC guys, because you couldn't run it at all. It was, uh, it was sad, you know? I remember when I got GTA 4 back in, uh, I don't know, 2011. It was quite a bit after the release, like three years, I, I don't remember. Still, uh, I couldn't run it. It was so sad, because it, it matched the requirements, you know? It was matching, everything matched. And then I launched the game and I could not run it, not the way uh, I wanted to run it, you know, 1080p, you know, out of fancy stuff, just didn't run. And I was like, oh my god, why? Why me? You know, I was so hyped to play the game and I, I did, I, I, it took quite a bit of time to uh, be able to play it. Like, <laughs> I played GTA 4 when GTA 5 was a thing already, so it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, and I guess that, that was the main issue with GTA 4, you know? If only they had a way to turn down the physics a little bit so that, you know, weaker computers could run it, but nope. I haven't thought about that. And the port was very, very badly made. We, we can't deny that, you know? They just... <laughs> they, they pretty much 
uh, just, you know, made it run. Man, is it opening on PC? Is it launching? Is it working? Kinda? Okay, so let's release it. I guess it was like that, because, you know, it was trash. It is trash, the way it runs, and even after patches and patches, dozens of patches, it still runs like crap. I mean, a game from uh, 2008 is supposed to run like a dream in any, any modern computer, you know? Because there's no graphics intensive stuff going on, there's nothing too heavy, except for the physics, of course, which we know it's a big problem as far as CPU uses go, but use go, you know. But I guess that uh, GTA 6 is gonna use a little bit of that old and great engine. Now, to a greater extent, and maybe uh, you won't eat as much frames as it does now. And uh, I guess that's it. GTA 6 is gonna be what uh, GTA 4 was meant to be as far as performance goes and graphics go as well. Because, you know, it's either uh, physics or graphics. You can't have both. <laughs> it's more than proven, I guess. We've seen that happening and they had to take this decision with GTA 5. But now we are in 2018 and uh, GTA 6 is bound to come in 2021, I guess. So yeah, they have plenty of time to work on it, both graphics and physics. So yeah, GTA 6 is going to be the ultimate masterpiece. But I mean, if you want to play GTA 4 now and, it, and enjoy it, I'm pretty sure you will because the game's great. Game's pretty good. Uh, as long as you don't mind, you know, the graphics, <laughs> the animations, which are quite a lot, a little bit, but the sounds are dope. The gunfights are awesome, are epic. The story on the, on its own is pretty dope. I would say that GTA 4 is uh, worth solely playing for the his for the story. I mean, it's a great story. It's solid, you know. Director. Development and uh, you know the world itself is pretty good. It's well detailed. There's a lot of things to see and lots of things to do. It's something that I kind of miss in uh, GTA 4, GTA 5. I mean, because even though the map's pretty big and stuff, there's not much to see. There's not a lot of places you can go, you can get inside, and uh, you know. Hang out as much as you could in GTA 4 with your virtual friends, you know, a little Jacob, uh, uh, Roman, and uh, all the other dudes. Like, you can literally just go to Mini, phone book, and call your dudes and, you know, go out for a drink, stuff like that. Something that I don't have anymore in GTA 5, and that's quite sad. I miss it. I miss it because it made it look like real stuff, you know? Because uh, in real life, you gotta hang out, you gotta talk to your dudes, you can't just, you know, uh, keep killing people all day and that's it, you know? That's not how real life is, and uh, GTA 4 pictured it very well. It had a great balance between action and actual, you know, interactions, you know, social-wise, friends and, uh, you know, parties and uh, uh, pubs and stuff like that. It was pretty fun. Really, really fun. Uh, I guess that's it. It stands up nicely to actual standards. If you don't mind the graphics and there are plenty of mods that you can install to make it look better. And, uh, you know, a few bugs here and there. But other than that, it's worth playing for the story and uh, the physics, which are fun. <laughs> which are hyper fun. Take a look at that, dude. Take a look at that, and that amazing, something that can do anymore in GTA 5, you know? And uh, I'm really sorry about low frames, I blame OBS, which is using my CPU as I've mentioned before. I really wanted to do a very, very fun uh, race again, uh, true library city, I mean, but... I would love to race with a fancy car to the city showing up the neighborhoods and stuff while you're talking about. It just can't happen because my CPU can cope with that. So we have to we have to just walk around. And uh, I really hope uh, they make uh, GTA 6 with the same physics. That would, have, they w that would be amazing. It would be a dream coming true, honestly. Because, you know... 
it was fun. It was a great time. I had a great time playing GTA 4. I guess that all all, all the guys, the teens that played GTA 4 back in 20, uh, 2008 had fun playing it as well. And they surely miss uh, the fun, you know? They surely miss the physics. I mean, when I played uh, GTA 5 for the first time, I was like, oh my god, where's the damage? Why is my car not getting shrunk? You know? That was quite sad. It was really, really sad because I, uh, uh, w the first time when I actually got my hands in GTA 5, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be so fun. There's a bigger map, I'm, uh, lots of new cars to destroy, and, uh, and then my first crash was like, oh, okay, my, my, my hood came off. Wow, amazing. That was it, you know? There was no more visual damage, uh, per se, it was just parts coming off, like, without damage at all. It just came off. Which is not what you would uh, expect, I guess, from a game like GTA, you know? You were known for always improving and bringing no stuff. Stuff that makes your jaw drop. And <laughs> GTA 4 still makes my jaw drop every, every now and then, you know? And you crash fast and the car just, you know? Trucks literally. Damage is huge and stuff, and it's amazing. Something that uh, GTA 5 is missing and. I really hope to see that in GTA 6 as well. So yeah, if you wanna have a great time, play GTA 4, cause it's cheap, it's a nice game, you won't regret it at all. I mean, if you have a console, I would recommend uh, getting a console instead, cause, you know, PC version is kinda cancer, it's really bad. Even uh, uh, for today's standards, it's pretty bad as far as performance goes, but if you have a little bit of patience, and if you really wanna play it and enjoy it, do it, do it. Because it's worth it. It definitely stands up as far as physics go. As I've said before. You're gonna love it. Because I loved it. Uh, I mean... You guys need to know how, how uh, my generation had fun with games, you know? So don't be afraid and play GT4. You're gonna love it. It's... It's definitely one of the best masterpiece of the 2000s and, you know, it's just fun overall and, uh, you know, just go for it. Don't be afraid because it's fun and it, it's dope. It's a pleasure to play it, actually. I feel very blessed to be part of this generation that played and enjoyed GTA 4 a lot. I still do. I mean, uh, I don't play it all day anymore, but, you know. Every now and then I put it up and play for good old time's sake and uh, wow. I always have a great time playing it because the game was great. The game is great, you know? And uh, you know, it's pretty hard for a game to be enjoyable after 10 years, you know? It's pretty hard. Uh, I don't picture myself playing lots of 10 year old games, you know? Apart from GTA Age of Empires, which is way more than 10 years old and maybe Civilization 4, but Still, there are not a lot of old games that I like to play, you know, because, you know, graphics and lack of enjoyment, because you, you want more and more, you know, you want more stuff, you expect more from the games, because, you know, as far as time goes, technology also gets improved and gets better and better, and you want that, you want, it, you want, it, you want better stuff, you know, it's pretty hard to put up a 10 year old game and play and enjoy it cuz something will probably bother you, turn you off, you know? Graphics, uh, physics, maybe the sounds, maybe the map size, There, are, there's always something that turns you off and GTA 4 is quite uh, the opposite, I would say like that, you know? It's nice enough, it's fun enough and uh, even today it's still quite an enjoyable game. Okay, let's go to... Oh my god, he's so far away. Let's go bowling. It's for the tradition, I guess. And drive there. Ooh, I took the wrong road. Nice. It's been a while since the last time I played it, so I'm really sort of on it. Okay, let's just ramp down. Hope I die. Please make a U-turn. Oh my god. Yes. That's how we die, boys. 
or not. Oh, oh, yes. No. Oh, wow. Okay, that was nice. Not good enough. Are you serious? How come that wasn't good enough? I mean, dude, that was a jump and a half. Come on. Oh my God. So you, dude. I'm so burning it right now. It's not good stuff. 97%, 98. All right. Okay, it's time to stop. Goodbye, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Goodbye.